Why do barefoot horses require a forage or fiber-based diet instead of a grain-based diet? Because this is a barefoot course, I will describe the basic chain reaction between diet digestion and hooves. But I strongly recommend all horse owners and horse lovers take it upon themselves to read up on the latest information regarding equine nutrition and feeding plans. This is a chain reaction, and I will now explain it in layman's terms. A horse selects and bites some food matter. They chew it in their mouth, breaking down the particles and adding enzymes from saliva where digestion already begins. After the horse chews their food, they swallow it. The food matter travels into a very small and inelastic stomach. The horse's stomach is about the size of a football and does not stretch like a human stomach might. There are two regions of this stomach, the glandular and non-glandular regions. Digestive acid enters the stomach and helps to break down the food matter once again. The glandular portion of the equine stomach has a mucous membrane which protects the stomach walls from this digestive acid. The non-glandular region does not. Because the horse's stomach is designed to be constantly filled with fibre, this fibre fill in the stomach acts like a mat protecting the non-glandular stomach walls from splashing acid. Acid splashing onto the non-glandular stomach walls is a primary cause for equine stomach ulcers and many other subsequent health issues, which I will talk about in a moment. Food matter spends a short time in the equine stomach, about 45 minutes. Then it passes into the small intestine, which is thin and long. In the small intestine, the horse is able to process small amounts of non-structural carbohydrates or sugars only. Remember, non-structural carbohydrates are all those sweet and sugary carbohydrates that are generally not appropriate for horses in large quantities. Because it is only in the small intestine that a horse can process non-structural carbohydrates. Any non-structural carbohydrates that are not processed in the small intestine pass into the next organ called the cecum. The cecum is a large fermentation chamber. This organ is unique. In this organ lives a large and mostly mysterious population of good and healthy bacteria which act as fermentation aids for fibre. If non-structural carbohydrates pass into this organ, the cecum, the bacterial population of this organ react badly and start to die en masse. And this is the part where barefoot horse owners need to be paying attention because this is important. The dying bacteria are then absorbed into the bloodstream and are turned into lactic acid, which is inflammatory. When you go to the gym and have a hard workout, the muscle soreness you experience the next day is lactic acid. Lactic acid is painful and inflammatory for the body to process. This dead digestive bacteria turned lactic acid needs to exit the horse's body as soon as possible. The horse's hooves are located at the bottom of their body, at the end of long, thin legs, under a lot of gravity forces. The hooves have a large blood supply in the lamina, which we already know. The lactic acid from dead gut bacteria, due to too much sweet and indigestible foods, then try to exit the body through the most gravity-rich and blood-rich area of the horse, which is, of course, the hooves. If the horse has appropriate fiber-based, non-sweet diet, this situation is almost totally avoidable. Due to the small, inelastic stomach and thousands of years of evolution, horses eat little bites all day rather than three meals and fasting in between. Horses do not eat like humans do. 
Supplements to improve a horse's nutritional intake should be given in very small meals frequently. The meals should not exceed the size of their stomach, which is the size of a football. After the cecum, the fermented food matter, hopefully mostly fibre, passes into the large intestine where it is digested further and nutrients and water are absorbed. Then finally colon, where the last of any water present is absorbed and then the food matter is excreted through the anus as faeces. At all points in their digestive process, Horses need a correctly balanced diet with a species appropriate ratio of essential fats, fibers, proteins, vitamins, and minerals to, go, to grow good, strong, healthy hooves. This has been a long and comprehensive explanation, but I hope it's starting to become clear to you the intrinsic link between healthy barefoot hooves and diet and digestion, that you cannot just feed a barefoot horse whatever you want, or what everybody else is feeding, especially if everyone else's horses are all in iron horseshoes. If you want your horse to be barefoot, you need a barefoot appropriate diet, which happily also happens to be a way more species appropriate diet, even for a horse who's wearing shoes.